going on peoples it's your boy bumpy here man and uh today i'm cooking on my acorn grill um i'm doing a uh pork sirloin um bone and roast and i'm also going to do a london broil so my main concern today is not so much you know the meat it's actually temperature control i want to keep my kamado uh, my acorn at about 225 to 250 um, I got two inexpensive pieces of meat here for both these pieces of meat for the London broil which is about two pounds and for the pork sirloin which is almost three pounds uh, less than six bucks so I'm not tripping uh, about the meat per se it's gonna be good but I ain't tripping about the meat so uh, what I'm gonna do is when I come back I'm uh, show you what I'm putting on there something real simple on the meats and then uh, we're gonna go from there All right, so here we go I've already went on and uh, seasoned my meat and um, for the London broil again I use soy sauce and just did my all-purpose seasoning that I use again garlic uh, pepper and salt um, and then for the pork I first um, sprayed it down with a little olive oil and then I used this ultimate rub bought it from the store it might have been two bucks or something uh, you know it's always good to have something like that just in a in your cabinet just to have you know what I mean ain't gonna hurt anything it's all seasoning um, but so here you go I have that so you turn that around for you all seasoned so now it's time to go ahead and get this grill started so let's go alright so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, a lot of people use uh, bump stock gold, but you can use any type of fuel source that you want. I'm going to use the King from the Pets. Good old lighter lighter cubes. And I will show you how I have it set up uh, once I'm ready to light it. This cook shouldn't take at least for the London broil maybe an hour to two hours but uh, the temperature I'm looking for is somewhere between 140 to 145 and for the and for the pork I'm looking somewhere between uh, 150 to 160 here we go so this is how I have it set up. Uh, one of the tips that I saw on uh, on a video was loading the charcoal closer to the to the vents, and so I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to use that particular technique, and I guess you can maybe call this like the snake method or whatever the case may be. But again, this is a low and slow. So this is what I'm going to do. This is my setup, and we're going to go from there. Another thing is, a lot of people put it in and they put the charcoal cube in the middle. Again, this is my method. This is how I'm doing it. You do it whatever, which way you want. You know, the best thing about barbecuing is all trial and error. So I'm going to go ahead and, and light this cube. There it is. 
couple of those on top. And I'm going to have my vents wide open for right now. And we're going to get this started. So the wood that I'm using today is um, pecan and apple. This chunk right here is pecan. Little pieces over the fire is pecan. And them two little pieces here is uh, apple. So that's what I'm going to use for these meats. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're right in that range where I wanted to be. Looks like about 240. So first thing I'm going to do is close down this bottom damper. And I'm going to take it now about right there. Nah, let's see. There's the one. I'm going to take it to just covering the one. Leaving about that much space and then the top I'm gonna shut it down to about half for the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and get these meats on so here we go about to put these meats on And if you notice, I'm not using a water pan, I'm not using a drip pan, because typically a water pan, drip pan, um, is basically what it is, a drip pan um, to catch any um, drippings, and of course, if you add a little water to it, helps keep moisture inside your meat. Um, again, this is just strictly for uh, temperature purposes, so I got them got them on, and I'm going to shut her down, and we're going to make it happen. Alright, so it's been almost an hour and we're sitting at two, let's say 250, 260, 265. Like I said, this thing is off by about five degrees or so, so it's probably really sitting at like 250 at this point um, compared to my uh, thermostat that I had in there for my last cook. Uh, this reads about 10 degrees lower than what it's actually saying so I'm sitting there it's been rolling I've had to adjust the vents just a little because it had went down to about 2 210 215 so I had I had opened it up about that much and then when I when it shot back up I was good I closed it off to about right here and as far as my bottom damper I, ha I haven't really touched it too much I, I might have just did like that but I'm still here you know I'll just let you know how far off the one I am see so just covering that one and once once I finish this cook sorry about that train going past so once I finish this cook, um, I'm going to make some marks on here just for my personal know that I, I set it here, I set it here, and that should be good. But we're rolling along. Let's take a look at the meat. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Here we go. Looking good. Looking good. I'm not gonna probe it yet, but we got some good color right there, good moisture. But uh there we go. It ain't cooking if you ain't looking. Well I should say it ain't cooking if you're looking. <laughs> but um this thing should climb back up to that 250 mark probably in a few moments. But there it is, we'll check back in, in a minute. All right, it's been about an hour and a half, and she is holding steady at 250. And uh, 
this is my position on the top and at the bottom that is my position let me see if I can give you a better look here there we go and the numbers here so I'm just covering the two I mean excuse me I'm just covering the one and now we're going to take a look I'm going to go ahead and see what my temperatures are on the meat oh yeah so for the pork let's go straight where the meat is so we're looking at maybe like one 112, 111, 112. Okay. And for the for the broil. Oh yeah, she's done. She's a little over. But I'm good. I'm good with that. So 164. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour her off. Let me just let me just make sure that I didn't go too far go too deep yeah so hour and 20 minutes so I'm gonna pull that broil off and let it let it rest and then I'm gonna cut it open and see what we got going on everything is looking great Here we go. So this is the London Brawl, the top round. Um, it's a little over. I'm not concerned about that. I probably would have pulled it off 30 minutes earlier. But again, this again, this cook was strictly for being able to keep the temp on the acorn at that 225 to 250 mark, and it held good at the 250. It settled in real nice, so no complaints about that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. She's been resting for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, here we go. smoke ring at the top there oh man this is very good even if like I said it's a little old for what I like typically for steaks I like medium to medium well but just for the sake of what I was trying to do today you know this was thinly sliced nice thin piece this would be perfect for sandwiches perfect you know perfect for sandwiches so that's the sirloin. I'll come back later. The um, pork was sitting at about a hundred and eleven degrees. I'm gonna get that up to about, like I said, one fifty or so. But uh, man, this is lunch right here. This is lunch. This is lunch. I'll be back. Alright, so we're almost three hours in. Look at that, she holding steady. It's like about 240, 245. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's 
it. That's what I wanted. I'm calling her done, folks. I'm calling her done. I'm going to get her in, let her rest. And go from there. Oh, well, here we go. She's been resting for about 30 minutes. Let's give you a good look there. And we're going to try to go ahead and cut off a slice here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still real juicy. See that? That is beautiful. Wow. That thing pulled apart like magic. Yes. Now there is a bone right in here. Seems like right there. Yeah. So that's the only thing with this this roast here, sirloin roast, is that I'm gonna be honest. I don't have the best knowledge of slicing this. Hmm. I'm going to turn over this way. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Take a look. There's a good, beautiful smoke ring there. Mm. Oh, that's tender. Oh, there we go. 250 degrees. About two and a half hours. 150 was the temp. And we got it. The uh, grill held temp very well. I probably only messed with it for like the first maybe 30 minutes, maybe 20. But once I got it set, she rolled. So, you guys have a good one. Because I will.